Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome guys. You're now locked in another episode of The Censored Podcast hosted by yours truly, me and Sophia. And yours, T.Y. Yes, bonjour my people. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are going. Hope hay fever is not killing my people <laughs> like it's killing me. I, I'm walking touch around every day. Touch wood, touch wood. I Just don't really battle my hay nose. fever. Huh? I don't battle hay fever. Touch no, touch I, touch battle, like, I battle hay fever. <laughs> every time I go outside. Just, just when I go outside and I'm just <laughs> itching my nose. My nose is getting, because the pollen gets stuck yeah, in my nose, isn't it? Yeah. The back of my throat. And it's and so like, itchy. It's so itchy. I hate it so I'm on the phone to someone, yeah, and they start getting, I'm sure. I was like, no, do what you got to do. I understand you're fighting at the moment. No, it's do actually it's horrible. Do. It's horrible. My mum's at home like, they had to send me home because I'm out here going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, nah. Nah, I hate fever this year. I don't know what they've put in the pollen, <laughs> but it's strong. But yeah, this this the inconsistency in this country is really pissing me off. Like we're just saying, bro. Welcome. You can't to go from thirty England. to twenty one and, and then rain. rain. You didn't just go. From, How does okay, that happen, cool. bro? I understand if you drop it thirty to twenty one, not rain. But then you drop it thirty to twenty one with ninety percent rain. Like, no, basically, it's gonna rain. <laughs> like there's no ifs and buts about it. There's literally, and it's going to for a week no, straight. And it's gonna be majority of London because it's ninety percent area covered. Yeah, and that's a week straight of just rain. How you blessed with us with a, I'm not gonna complain because you've actually blessed us with weather, a yeah, yeah. very good weather. Like, very I, I don't mind one or two rainy days, yeah. For just to cool, just to cool it down a little bit. For a week. But do you know what I mean? <laughs> a whole week you're gonna you're telling uh, me you're gonna give us rain. No, Ayo, please, well, we don't want it. It's just bipolar, it's Boris. Yes, it just has everything in this country. There's no consistency. <laughs> there is no, there's nothing. There's it's nothing in this country. Yeah, everything Boris, is bro. on vibes. Everything just runs on vibes. Literally. Anyways, what's yeah. your fun fact for this week? My fun fact of this week is that the most common name in the world is Mohammed. I think not said that even surprised me, Tika. Yeah, the most common so. Uh, my reader from last week was what's long and hard and has the word come in it she said everyone used to and ball cucumba <laughs> and then this week's riddle is I'm always hard when dry and smooth and soft when wet what am I I'm always hard when dry and smooth and sweat with a toothpaste no I'm always I'm hard. always hard when dry and smooth and soft when wet what am I the concrete no Concrete's hard when it's dry and smooth and it's wet. Concrete stays hard though. No, but the powder. Oh, okay. That's cement, babe. Cement. <laughs> okay, what, so then what does cement become? Does it become concrete? Does it not become concrete? They put things on top. It don't. It becomes hard, but yeah. cement don't become concrete, So what's babe. concrete? It's more blocks and bricks and stuff like that. No, blocks and bricks are blocks and bricks. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Exactly. You know exactly. Right. No, that's what yeah. it is. What is concrete? Concrete. Go on. Concrete is engineering material that stimulates the properties of work and is a no, combination. What is of what is made like? What makes concrete? It's simply a blend of normally natural sand and gravel or crushed rock. So we're both wrong. Concrete is the most widely used construction material. It's just a mixture of rocks and stuff. Oh, okay. Sand is mixed with sand, cement is in there, water. I didn't argue, so, argue that I cement wasn't in no, there. No, no, I was right. But I'm just saying, I don't think it's fully cement. No, there's cement in there. Cement, Yeah, sand, I'm not disputing that, but I didn't water. just think it was fully cement. Yeah, but. <laughs> no one said you did it. You know what I've been trying to do? I don't know where I think I'm going. Me not out here on pretty little things, typing in summer, at summer clothing, <laughs> for me to buy. <laughs> No, stop it. Are you really serious? No, I was, I've just been out here trying to act like I'm going to go buy a whole new wardrobe, a whole new summer wardrobe, thinking it's that kind of summer this year. But if I'm really being honest. <laughs> but I like the hopes, though. Of course, man. I want to I wanna have a nice summer. I, like I just want to do things this summer. Yeah, but it's hard because it's like... Even if it's just in this country. This is what I'm saying. It's hard because it's like, you can't travel, but then, like, I'm very... A lot of stuff here requires driving. It does. It <laughs> now, does. now you see where I'm coming at. So, but I feel like we should take an L this year, you know. No. To I, enjoy. I, I, at this point. Maximum, let's do Like, the maximum we've got an hour and a half. At this point, yeah, at this point, I've come to do... I've come to the decision that, yeah. And I feel like what I've also said is anything that's, like, three hours, 
coach oh, your like, train. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking I that. Like we need to stop I, the idea of driving. Yeah. You know, like, everything needs to be driving. I thought about Sometimes everything. Sometimes a cheaper like, train. I wanted to go think, especially when I was looking at that corner thing. I was like, why am I... Like, Cheeky train. Yeah, cheeky I'm, I'm down for it. We go, I'm we get away. And then even then, a lot of stuff, like, when you go outside London, a lot of stuff like Uber stuff is even cheaper, so it wouldn't be I'd as bad. I prefer train than coach, though. I'm the same. I don't do... Yeah, it's going to be so uncomfortable. Much, yeah. But, yeah, so it's just one of them things. I was like, yeah, the same amount of money, money I'll spend on the petrol will be what I'll spend on the yeah, train, so I might yeah, as well. Yeah. So I was Especially like, I'm not... So I said, that's why I said I won't be against it. So in terms of that, that's the only... I'm genuinely going to just have to say... Forget travelling this year, I'm just gonna have to see what it is, yeah. Yeah. And just I'm just gonna close my eyes most time. When you come to me and be like, Oh, this is not okay, cool. If I was away I'll just spend because that's how I'm gonna have to no, see yeah, it. No, yeah, it's just, just if I don't see it like that, I'm not I'm not gonna spend money. I have to think about it. If I'm away, this is what we're gonna do. But no, we've got we've got to make it do. We have to, we yeah, have to. Yeah. No, but speaking of doing things, yeah, I must have um put up like a post on my Insta story about oh this I just wanna do things I've never done and travel to places I've never yeah, been. I think yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> why is it <laughs> why is it some guy just um just popped up and said yeah we could be doing this but you don't want to <laughs> you're an idiot <laughs> what was your response to that I haven't responded who is it you're <laughs> that um I, the think I, know, guy, I know what you're talking about yeah. the minute you said that I knew what you're yeah. talking about listen at this when point I started laughing at this point I'm close. At this I'm point, close to saying, let's try because, this out. Because he's, he's been consistent. He's been no, no, persistent. He, he, my man even cashed up. Jeez, I mean, no. I think it's come to a point where it's just my be a... What have you got to lose? And then if you go, here's the thing, this is how you got to see it. And then if you go, it's not your cup of tea, it's not a thing. Bro, we make a friendship out of it. It is what it yeah. is. What, it, it, yeah. Like, I, I've given you the chance. I've actually, I haven't closed you off completely. I've actually yeah, come yeah. on my way. But now that I'm here, I genuinely don't think like it could be anything further than friendship. Yeah. And if that's something you can't agree with, then that's a you yeah, problem yeah, now. Yeah. But for me personally, I don't. I genuinely don't mind being friends with you. We can do things. Let's like, but just know this is what it is. What have you got to lose? Like, 100%, you've bro. got not. You, at the end of the day, you're getting new friends. Plus, plus I'm reached. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. To go out somewhere with the next. Week. You get yeah. a new friend. You get a new buddy that will be free whenever you want to do something. You get. You don't drive. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> what have you actually got to lose? Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. Worst case, he wants to go a group party and tell your biggest friend I'll come to you. That's what, babe, bro. Listen, you've got nothing to lose. You might as well, because, like, as long as you know what it is, if you, it's different if you're going and you're, like, giving mixed signals and stuff, then it's okay, cool, I understand. Sure, sure. But if you're going and you said it straight from the beginning, like, this is what it is, the, 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 I just don't think, but personally, I feel like we can. I think you're super cool people. We can actually be friends. Like we need to start being. We need to start accepting that we can be friends. No, honestly. Because it's a thing honestly. where you think, okay, it doesn't work now. We can't, we can actually be friends if it yeah. doesn't work. Right? It yeah. doesn't. You just have to find a way it to. Just, get it just out depends. Of your I feel like it depends on the intentions of both parties, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. If someone comes with intention, but I just I'm just trying to shmeet it. And not be but it's fine though if you don't want to be friends yeah, but not my with, fault, but. with him for example he's actually asked on a date there's a difference so it's a thing where okay cool if you're not interested here's the thing I don't know if you're going to say it through feed or you can go and just be like this is a friendly <laughs> thing <laughs> I don't know I don't know because I don't know if it's rude to be like oh I don't think it'll be a date but I don't mind coming out to chill because you genuinely seem like a cool people we can actually yeah. do something fun but it won't be a date do you state that at first or do you state that you when state you go you state that at first like, so, so, then, so, so then obviously it, he knows the intention yeah, straight so then exactly. it's not one of them ones where there's gonna be like oh it's yeah you go out yeah. and then everything's paid for then it's like oh why would why would yeah, I pay yeah, if yeah, I knew yeah. yeah you state that at first and then um yeah then you've got nothing to lose we actually need to start you you, shout, you need to make new friends make some new friends <laughs> Make some new friends make that drive and have friends. money. Can you imagine? That's the one. Can you make some new friends that drive and have money and down to do activities and like, especially this summertime, like, and then yeah, we'll take it from there. Summertime's not even enough, nothing like summer anymore, man. Can you imagine? But let's let's hope it gets better. Let's hope it's this space. What's the, what's, the, what's the new open date? Flying oh. date? Um, this more voice trans has, has moved. Oh, it? yeah, um, July 19th. <laughs> <laughs> July nineteenth. July nineteenth. But then again, um the 
even though he's moved it, the travel. Did you see the video of um? I think Theresa May saying yeah. that. I think she had a, she made a solid point. That's, this is what she I've been screaming from. But this, what she says, what I've been screaming from the beginning, yeah? Coronavirus, it's a virus. It's yeah? here to stay. It's a virus. It's like the flu. When the flu outbreak came before, yeah? This, it's not the first time it's happened. I think around in the 90s, there's another outbreak, whatever. We've had that swine flu. Mm-hmm, we've had the Spanish mm-hmm. flu. We've had plenty we've of had outbreaks that, yeah. out here. We've had to adapt with the flu. Every year there's a new vaccine. You get people get vaccinated, especially during um winter time. There's always a vaccine for you to take for the flu, so that we can have it like under under control, um, mm-hmm. so to so to speak. Then people still die with the flu every single year. Thousands of people still die with the flu. We're not out here closing borders for the for the yeah, flu or anything. Do yeah. you know what I mean? People are always out here doing what they need to do with the flu there. We yes, okay, they say scared. they might say coronavirus is, is more contagious, is a bit whatever. But yeah, it's not a bacteria. You can't you can't fight you can't you fight can't, it. Yeah. It's gonna be here for it's gonna a be very here. long time. It is what it yeah. is. Now we just have to adapt to it yeah, and live yeah, the life. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Like you can't keep you can't do all this and then come September time and tell them they're going to go on a lockdown. lockdown. It it's make not going to change anything. It doesn't lockdown, make and sense. Lockdown change anything. And then, and then it just day. reduce. It just slows down the sp- the the spread of of the, the virus, virus because but, everyone's yeah. at home. But yeah. it doesn't stop the spread of the virus mm-hmm. because once you go back out, it's going to go back up. That's how it works. And then she was basically saying at the end of the day, yeah, you lot are complaining that you're losing money and stuff, but yet you want to keep doing things that's not gaining you any money, so it's making those. And then to make up for. The money loss, you're out here raising prices of dumb shit, bro. No, facts. Just to just cause, oh, well, you don't make money, so oh yeah, let's yeah, let's no, bring facts. up the price of this. Or I was this. I was I was very well. I <laughs> really agree with what sense. the rubbish she says, but I was here for it. Like she actually made so much sense. Like, no, but, it, but it, that's just common sense. If and that's only because he they were trying to change because apparently they still meant to amend like the traveling thing for June twenty first. That's still going on. Like they amend the list every three weeks. So they meant to amend it, but what the... What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think what they were basically... She was trying to basically get them to add more countries onto the green list. This is where it all came from, I'm guessing. Yeah. And then that's how it started. And she's like, you can't then remove less than what's the point of having a green list? You might as well not have it. Right. And then that's what it started. And she's like, yeah, but... No, at this point... If the, with me, if we're going to do green list, amber list, red list, we should just close the borders. That's it. <laughs> Don't give me high hope. Don't let me book a book a holiday. Because for what? I, I get holiday. there now. You're telling me I, get, I have to be back. No, I, I get there. You're telling me the next day it's gonna go on amber list or on red list, and I have to quarantine a hotel when I come so back. So now I have to book a flight back straight away. Just, just close. If if this is the case, close you don't want no one to fly out. Close the borders. Why are the borders still open? You know, places like Australia, New Zealand, the borders are closed. Yeah. I mean, they're still closed now, but they were closed. No, New Zealand's and, still closed. Yeah, Australia's open. But I think. within within the actual countries they do what they want to do they're yeah. out there having flipping concerts they, 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 there's living life clubbing, life clubbing yeah. is back on open wide because everyone is is mm. basically locked it's a big it's bubble, bubble basically because yeah. everyone is locked in, in no one's coming mm-hmm. in and out it's that simple but so this is blood in, blood this is London bro they're not about to do that because to them it's like listen yeah they'll do anything before they close the whole bubble then, then, then let us fly out and at this point because this is what they're fifty fifty, they're wishy washy, like right? they're not making their mind up. Today's this, tomorrow's that. This is why at this point, listen, like you said, you can't make do with what London no, that's giving you. That's what, that's what, if that's you're if you're <laughs> listening to them and you're hoping for them, you're hoping for good news, just forget about it. Just, just forget yeah, about it. That's why I'm just out here sense. trying to look at what London has to offer first. I have a But London has nothing to offer for me. I have honest. a whole UK activity list here. Yeah. For UK. UK. UK, yeah. UK. UK. In, in the UK, there's actually best. best like, bits. when you go out there, especially yeah. the, like, the greenery, you can go do all sorts of stuff, innit? Because there's just space. But London, yeah. there's no space. London, yeah, London's a bit. That's why I say unless, the only thing you can do, unless, you're gonna, unless you drink, if you drink, there's always like cocktail bars, open, mm-hmm. open rooftop Yeah, but even bars. then, it gets. Repetitive yeah, it gets like, There's only so much, yeah, cool. Let's go get some. There's only so much cocktail you want to drink in a day, like. Yeah, that, that end up being <laughs> There's only so much you want to do, so it's just, and it's just expensive things. as well. Because you're in London. Expensive. You're in London. 
expensive. This is why most people when they go for like the um cocktail thing, they look for ones that's like two for one or some of the effort. Like what? Oh yeah, like happy then, hour. Yeah, they're kind of because that's the only thing saving you. Apart from that, you could go out on a night and spend one fifty without you even knowing. Right, even knowing. You come, you go out and come back in. But alcohol here is so expensive. You go like to Portugal, yeah. Certain areas in Portugal. There's an area in Portugal. in London. Remember when we were in um, Bradford? It was a pound for a shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It was a pound That's for like, a uh, shot. Like, in Portugal, it's like a, a shot of the euro. Yeah. One euro. And a cocktail's probably like... It's London. It's London. Because you know Bradford, yeah, yeah. them leads side, a pound to two for shots. London here, your style shots eight pound. No. <laughs> Hold on. Why, though? Like... No, very expensive like, and imagine. the thing is no, but the difference is in Port, like, when I go out in Portugal yeah um, they don't measure shots you know they just put it straight yeah unless it's like a cup, cup yeah a shot cup. cup but let's say you want like a mixer they're just pouring it in and hoping for the best <laughs> they don't, they don't have, they have yeah they don't have shot glasses I think the shot glasses in France was full vibes he poured it poured put it over and it was overflowing yeah. they went and then just <laughs> no yeah they're just um, obviously if it's a shot if it's a shot, it's a shot. Yeah, that's different. But if it's mixer, so you want like, yeah, like a cocktail JD or something. Coke or something. Yeah. You just <laughs> and stop. Wait, when you stop, you stop. Well, yeah, when, when it's time to stop, it stops. That's how mm. it is. Like, mm. nah. Yeah, but listen, we have to make this the one to. year. This some. To be honest, let's be realistic here. The past summers, we don't actually do anything this summer. We actually just we make do. No, it feels like we, we do a the lot. The thing is, we don't do a lot because. We're traveling. No, but we don't even travel during. Okay, no, but I'm saying July, but August. We don't travel. But within the year, though. Okay, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. within the year, okay, let's say not last year. If we're but thinking about it, we, we still we still have plans. Like I don't mind not doing anything if I know I've got something to look forward to. Yeah, I get what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Like we we we'll travel through the year. Yeah, we. We're doing do something in London. Doing something in London is not really a priority type thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because I was thinking about it, I was like, we yeah we. Don't do anything like within the space of June to August. We read it. But no, do you know what? It kind of seems like we do because we yeah. find like little things yeah, to do, do, do here and there. Days. Yeah, but, um, but, but because it's like there's not really much to do. Mm. We're not we're about to go travel in, in September, yeah. October, or something. It's not. It's not something I'm. I'm stressing no. up about. Yeah. But now, now that nothing is nothing that now that nothing you is set in stone, yeah. I want to do something. <laughs> and there's no, there's no like. Even now, it's like day somewhere. parties are not really open like that and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, ex- and exactly, we had day parties. It was it like no, actually, go day before. Part. I've never I actually been to day parties. Day you. parties are the best. I said it. I said it already. They're the best. I get time from nine o'clock Mondays. If it's not a day party, I'm not coming. It's the day parties are open. I think they're open from two to midnight. Two to midnight. Yeah, sure. You get there from six seven. You get there around five. You see them around nine. You're home by ten. Six even. You take a shower. You even have. You can even eat something. 10.30, you're conked up. You're telling me, you're telling <laughs> I, me I can have a good you. day of partying and still and be in bed by 10.30. I love it. Friend. I was like, at work from 9 o'clock. <gasps> <laughs> so you now think me. It's tired, yeah. By the time I get in the shower and even sit to contemplate while I'm, I'm falling asleep, no, don't bother. Honestly, honestly, don't them bother. Them nighttime things. Don't bother. Don't anymore. bother. Like, there's no, there's no need. Like, this, I'm, I'm over it. I get super tired, and then they were like, "What?" I said, "This is how it is on Monday. I get super tired." Yeah, yeah, and we're in bed by nine, ten o'clock. <laughs> even even the club shots are ten and told you to go home. <laughs> so what? This should just this should just do day parties. When we went away, the last time was at Cabo Fred, didn't it? Day parties. Like even I was even happy that Jerry had a curfew. The curfew before. by twelve. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> by twelve they said everyone go home. Go home. You don't have to. You, well, you don't have to go, go home, home. But you have to be out. Yeah. Out <laughs> so it's one of those things like it's it's kind of as a vibe. I'm at that age where that I feel like the younger lot they'll be excited to stay. Yeah. I'm past that. I'm just by ten. Um, my bed is calling me. What am I looking for outside? Like, <laughs> my daughter made a new friend at the playground. I asked the dad if we can plan a play date. He's He's like, okay, I'll give you your number to my wife and you can answer. I don't know why that that was weird to me. Ain't you, ain't you a parent too? Mm. Men who have to ask their wives first bug me. What's your opinion? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, what I feel like the better response would have been 
I'm gonna speak to my wife and and find a bet a, a good date for the play date. Yeah, but do you know what I mean? It's I feel like what what I've got is I'm gonna give your number to my wife so that you guys can sort it. Yeah, but even if I'm telling you I'm gonna speak to my wife so we can sort a date, I'm still gonna end up giving your number. No, right. because he can. Yeah, no, but he but he can. Um, I've actually there was nothing wrong with it. I get where she's coming from, yeah. but I in my I I just feel like. Here's the thing, you see it in two ways. He's either in saving himself he's got a crazy person and he's saving himself from the yeah, from so the from, from the stress. Yeah, from yeah, the stress yeah, yeah, yeah. is like let me avoid this he, situation he, straight. He, he, yeah, he probably knew he the situation just, he had yeah, at home. Yeah. So that was the better response that was, for him. Yes. So when he goes home, there's no issues. There we go. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. so he he's saying, I'm saving myself because I didn't let a play that is play that doesn't matter who you plan it with. I get where yeah. she was coming from as well. Yeah, but he's yeah, like yeah. what because I get what she's saying, but in my head I'm thinking there was nothing too wrong in his answer. It's just like okay, no, I'll no, pass the it's, number. It's, like you said, it's probably the situation they're in, but it's like I feel like she felt some, some type of way about it. No, because maybe she thought maybe she thought he's reading too much into the situation. Maybe maybe she thought that oh I yeah that. he's she was trying to act she's trying to get onto him type situation. Mm-hmm. That's why she's asking for the play day. But maybe she just genuinely played there between her child and his child. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's she kind of makes a point though. If that's your child, you can say yes. We can make a play date. Oh yeah, this is the date. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but it is good of him to then obviously have a joint joint um conversation with his wife because you never know what day is available. That's what I said. If you went okay, let me go speak. I'm gonna speak to the wife here and make sure that um we have a day available for both of us that suits but the both of us. Mm. Then fine. Yeah, you don't we know. can make so I, I feel like she just she just they both he, she read the situation wrong. wrong. And he just did what he wanted. He he knew was good for him. For him. He said exactly. himself. He's, exactly. He's, he's don't care for no girl. He was like, listen, yeah. You don't know who I live with. You don't know if she's crazy or not crazy. You exactly. don't know what kind of what you, what's the new number. If she sees a new number, and it's a female. Exactly. That says, oh yeah, when are you coming round? <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. You're breaking relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you imagine? Just, she's probably just saying, when are you coming round? Like, because of the yeah, child. Say, imagine how you. And you say, when you come round? Excuse you. Go yeah, around where? This, exactly. Why are you going? <laughs> Why? I wanna know. And then and then it'd be like, then be one of them ones. Like, oh yeah, it's just a play date with with one of uh, with a uh, um. One of the moms you didn't tell me about it. You didn't tell me about it. Uh, why didn't you tell me it was a, they had a, there was a play that coming on? Mm-hmm. Who is this mom? I, see I both know ways. this mom. And then next thing you know, now after that, now I'm thinking he's lying. Well, if he's not played it, yeah. yeah. And now I'm asking, and I'm like, he's telling me, oh yeah, it's just a play that one of the moms of the playground. I said, play, what do you mean, <laughs> played it? Played it between you, the son of you and her. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's a back bigger, it's gone. It's a back of all. Yeah, so, yeah, now that you read into it, it obviously depends on the situation. It depends yeah. on the, in, like, if there's any securities or whatever in the situation. Mm-hmm. But that was, it's, it's his response. I'm going to speak. I thought, when I, I read it, I, I liked personally it. Feel like, I, I feel like if it was too far, if it was a father asking him, he probably he'd wouldn't be even more like, I'm fine with it. Yeah, 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 I'm not going to give you the wife's he'd, number. He'd be comfortable with it. He'd, like, he'd yeah. probably still say, okay, I'm going to chat to the wife and yeah, say what yeah, see what day be, is available. He'd be that fine alternating well. numbers. Exactly. Especially, I feel like what it is, is especially the way situation, it cannot, it's probably not a thought. She's genuinely coming from a thing. Yeah, exactly. But because of the way things are out, things that comes across, the way things are made bigger than what it is, he just thought, let's not not get yeah, yeah, let's no not, it's, no, it's true, it's let's true. Just, to skip everything, yeah, let's just, let's I'm going to give you the wife his number, you talk to the wife. And the yeah. same thing, if the wife was there and the man no, asked her, he probably said, okay, I'm going to speak to the hubby and the hubby, yeah. do you know what I mean? He'd probably do the same thing. Yeah. Or even then, he'd be like, do you want me to set up with your wife instead or your partner? Yeah, because it's, it's one of them ones where I can say now that I probably won't really have a problem, but you never know you're in that situation, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I can say that I can say that now when I'm not married and I have children. Yeah. I, I'm I'm fine with it. I feel like, is that respect? Yeah, yeah, is that respect yeah, to I, wouldn't take, I wouldn't take it if I because if I'm doing it, let's flip. If I was the one answering him, and like, oh my, let's him well, like, well, well, do yeah, whatever. I don't think I feel a sad way. I was like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Take the number whenever one's ready. We can sort a date. Yeah. Whichever Just one. Get her to as long as we do the play date, we do the play date. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I've come the attention of my child playing yeah. with your child. I haven't come the attention of, more friends of coming, coming to, to you. you. Do you know what I mean? It's, mm. It'd be one thing if you were a single father. <laughs> but obviously now that maybe maybe it, maybe I came with both intentions. Maybe I didn't know you were married and I came. Oh yeah, let's that's have a play date. some type of way. <laughs> no, but I'm saying I'm saying if, no, I'm saying that's some type of way. She's like, oh shit, he's married. But like I will come at this with those intentions, but as soon as you say, "Oh, I'm gonna let you go speak to the wife," about it, cool. yeah, we move. But yeah, yeah, I don't think anything's wrong with the response. 
I would expect her to say the same. If a guy came up to her and said, oh, yeah, let, can our children have a play day? I expect her to be like, oh, yeah, I'll speak to the husband and the husband. Mm-hmm, do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And not read into it. Yeah, it's not, about, it's not about saying he's one of the parents, but there's still two parents in the situation. It's one thing if he's, if he's a single father and the baby mom's not there, but even then, it's the communication because you, you have to plan, yeah, exactly. you have to swat the day because you... It would just be a thing like, yeah, cool, let's speak tomorrow at 3 o'clock. And then, and then maybe the mum's like taking it somewhere else at 3 o'clock. So you have to, you have you to have communicate. To communicate. You I, have to. I just thought that was an interesting one to comment because comments were blowing off and I was like, oh. Like, everyone's reading into it because then we're only reading what she's put out there. We're not actually trying to think yeah. of the behind the scenes or even, because even then we're just saying what we think could be behind the scenes. And it we just don't depends know. on how you look at the situation and how you're coming into it. Like, uh, is she flirting with him? Mm. Does he have a crazy woman at home? That one right there. <laughs> just because you won't sleep. It just depends. Yeah, you just depend. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. And there's nothing wrong in, in the response he gave that. I don't think so. But I felt like it. It bothered her in a weird way. Yeah. Because like maybe she thought. Because oh, the way she wrote it was like, why do you have to give it to her? Why do you yeah, have to go back yeah. and well, say? Or maybe she she's thinking, oh, I'm not trying to move to you. So why are you gonna ask the wife? Yeah. Like, it's not that. But. Easy. But yeah, yeah it's the way things plays out because now you can be like anything can happen. All of a sudden, you're saying yeah, you weren't saying that when you, you were giving me your number. Right, 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 right. Like, But you weren't saying yeah. anything could go wrong or something. And you'd be like, you didn't say that when you were giving me your number. Yeah, do, 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 do. Just go left out of nowhere. And and boom. He's saving himself, he's saving the wife, he and he's like, yeah, he's saving his home as well. So I don't blame him for that. Did she feel some type of way about it? That's a that's her a problem. business, yeah. That's a her problem. That's a you problem. <laughs> right. My Jeez. man's gonna come back to me and tell me what's going on. He's probably gonna come back with a smiley face saying, "Oh yeah, oh yeah." Some girl tried to tell me, but I said I'm gonna tell you first. <laughs> you know, the, people have their thing of telling like their partner thing just to let you know. You know, I'm still one the person, even you know, even though I'm in this relationship. Like, you know, that person tried to move to me, and it's just to I get can some kind of tell that you are. I am married. <laughs> Yeah, but when they go home, the way they would say at her side would be quite nice, but they would go home and be like, you know I'm still a wanted person. Right. This person tried to move to me. Well, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> that kind of thing. But I think that's all worth, like, that's bare key. Like, you kind of put, like, a little fun in your relationship, that kind of thing. But with, with, that, with the idea of, oh, yeah, someone coming in, um, saying he's still a wanted person, do you think that cheating is, um not cheating, <laughs> flirting <laughs> is cheating? Yeah. And I feel like, ugh. There's different type of flirting. What do you mean? Like, there's... I don't know how to word it. There's, like... I can be... Ugh, I don't even know. Because there's just different... It's just, like, it can it can be, very be, but then it's, like, to what sort of degree is it cheating? I don't agree to it personally. I feel like, why are you flirting? Flirting? I'm not... I'm not it's not... So, no, I'm saying... Why do you think flirting is cheating? Why should you be entertaining people in that way? Because I feel like I see it as a thing where when we do things, there's always an intention. Even though that might not be an intention, there's to me it's like there's something behind you, like in that aspect. Like you might just be flirting because you think she looks pretty, or you might. To me, it's like if a guy's flirting with a girl now, yeah, and he's like doing whatever, whatever, he's got a relationship. To me, it's like you probably would go there, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's what comes to my head. It's like there's that intention of you would go there, but you kind of. Because you can't, and you kind of put your boundaries there, you're just like, I'm just going to do this because this is the limit I can go to. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it's like. What if it's like flirtatious banter? Why? Like, like work husband and just flirtatious. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't it's know. Past time. I, was, I was watching you suffer the job. I'm a sucker for um, Tally. Like, like when you're there at work and then some. No, wait, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm watching something, it's Tally, and yeah. there's this guy, in there, and funny enough, they're. Their friendship is called flirty friendship. That's what yeah, they call it. Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. What they, this? they call their friendship flirty friend. They don't want to be together, but they don't. And then every time you can just see the tension within them. Yeah. And it's just like, you're going to have that kind of tension with someone you're flirting. So here's the thing. If it's someone you flirt with regularly, I feel like that's cheating to a certain to a degree. Because okay. this is someone you're seeing regularly and you're continuously flirting with okay, them. Yeah. Da, da, da. And if it's someone you see here and there, not here and there, but you just sing and it's just a one thing. I don't know if I'll be... I feel like I'll be more offended flirting with someone you see regularly than I would mm-hmm. be with someone you see. Because in my head, you're coming back home with me and you're not going to see her again. Right. But whereas with someone you see regularly, it's well, like... Well, that work. Yeah, that's a bit techy. I feel like you have to still have that boundaries. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I don't... I feel like it's cheating depending on who it is, where it is, and the person, and how it's done. It just depends on how you read situations, to be honest. Yeah. Would you not think so? 
I don't know. I don't know because I feel like I'm looking at, at my like <laughs> if I'm do, like with me, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like <laughs> that's gonna bug me. Oh, you can just hit. Um, I don't know. I don't want. I don't know. <laughs> it's just. It's just. It's, it's this like between the relationship I have with the with the, with the guy. Yeah. If I feel like the relationship is strong. I don't know if it would bother me if it's like a one time thing. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Because the only, the, only about, about you know, the only thing about flirting, it, it, feels, it makes it seem like there's a door open for the other person. This is my point, exactly. So I might, like, I might feel secure in myself and in my partner in a sense where I know well, he's not going to go mm-hmm. or he knows that I'm not going to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. But it keeps, it allows the other person to think that there's a door open, open for them yeah. to come in. This is what I'm so saying. So then it, it can end up causing a situation that shouldn't have happened if no one was flirting this is what i'm saying in terms of like it being a regular thing if yeah. it's a regular thing it's like at some point i know i've got a chance like if i really said f it less you i feel like you would have it cause something that's happens between yeah, both of us you would have it you would but whereas if it's a one-off thing it's like okay cool the door's open for that minute but i know for a fact you're not seeing her again yeah and that's just there that's just that night out thing like the one time i wouldn't mind I, I'm, I'm for flirting is to get us an advantage yeah, now, let's say you want there's, to buy me. There's, there's maybe like a, a male bouncer at, at the at the let me flirt so we can get in. Let me flirt so we can get in. That's what so, that's that's situation. Some and person after said, said you can come in, and I just said, oh yeah, I've got like, someone else with me. Some person said room. I could watch my partner go to a bar by herself, and let her do her thing, and get her drinks, and, and then go. He said you're saving me that. money. Yeah, that if, that's the thing. If it's like that, I don't. Yeah, but I'm that's different. That's more banter because you're both in it. Yeah. But it's a different situation where the only only the other person's flirting and like you're not really aware of it. Okay, cool. Are you here for your partner having a work flirt person thing? I I am, but I'm I'm not only because but only because if you look at work, work can be absolutely horrible sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it can have long days, and sometimes having that person there can it get, they easy. Can, can get yeah. the day going. Yeah. But I feel like it. You can always have a friend, a colleague yeah. that helps the this day. This It doesn't thought... have to. Be, it doesn't have to be flirtation. It does not have to be flirtation. You can have someone at work of any sex that can get your day going, like, and like you, you can just have a see them. And you're exactly. just like, yeah, the shift's about to be Yes, yeah. it's just going to be lit because yeah. they're on yeah, they're on yeah, their yeah. own shift. But it doesn't have to be flirtation. So no, you don't have to have a. a, a I don't. I don't agree with having a work wife because when you when you do have that, it can get sticky at work. It can, it can get sticky at work. If like flirting, flirting is something you do when you're interested in a person. Yeah, thank you. I feel like you can have. This is why I think you can have. If you have a like, you can have a flirtatious friendship because, but then you know there's boundaries there. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. but but then yeah, as soon as you take those boundaries, then yeah, it can go away. somewhere. But a flirtatious you know I mean? a lot of people, friendship a lot of people, within a, lot, a relationship. No, no, I'm talking about no outside like outside of relationship. Okay. So having like, a flirtatious friendship. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. I feel like is it it. it Depends on both parties, isn't it? One party, there might be a boundary there, but I feel like once the boundary is lifted, out, yeah. one of the party is going to be into it. They're going to be like, "This is why you got." If you were to ask is. them, like, if you were to ask them, if if would if like, would you want to do something? Nope. One, one of the times, one of them is going to yes, say yes as soon as the boundaries are out. But as long as the boundaries are there and yeah. they, and everyone is um respecting boundaries, then mm-hmm. it's probably a conflict. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think, like you said, I don't think there's even such thing as a flirtatious friendship. No. Um, because there's always, there's thing. always there's something all, yeah, there. It's just like this is what I'm thinking. That's why I think flirting can be considered cheating as well. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, always yeah. like because you, you flirted with me to get with me. Exactly. So it's if you didn't flirt with me, we wouldn't be here. You had to make some kind of intention. You had to make some kind of flirt. Whatever you did, you still flirt with me. This is how we got into the relationship we're in. So I'm not really going to be for you doing it. Yeah, with, yeah, unless nice. unless we're going out together. It's different. If we're, you know what I'm about to do, I know what you're about to do. Yeah, like, we can, it, that's, like, if we have that kind of relationship, then we know what it is. But if you're going now or you... I can't... Listen. <laughs> I can't have a partner have a work relationship... Um, work husband oh, and wife. Yeah. Just because I know what it's <laughs> exactly what it what ex- exactly that's the thing that's the thing having that little work thing that's yeah yeah mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so it's just one thing because because I know like let's not do that let's respect each other I'm not yeah. saying because even like with work now I see like there's certain people female friendship that come in and I'm just like yep my shit's about to be calm my shit's mm-hmm. about to be sweet and it didn't have to be a guy it didn't have to be a foot mm-hmm. it's just the people so I feel like. With you saying, like, because some people are like, I need a work partner. Do you don't. You just need that person that gets you yeah, through your shift exactly. and you bungle it. Yeah. With me, I t- 
when it comes to work, it really depends on the person. But I like to keep the people at work at work, work and yeah. my friendship outside of work. Yeah. So like, I would go to work and I would banter with a couple of people, but more time outside of work, I would probably never talk to them. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. Or maybe some people I'll talk outside of work, but it's never the ones where we're meeting up regularly. But when it comes to work, we're having the best time of our lives. Yeah, we're best friends at work. Because I know if we if we ever do a workout, and I know who I'm chilling with. Ex- exactly. Because at least still. Yeah, yeah. My thing is, I don't know what still work. I'm not gonna make things awkward. We're still gonna chat like yeah. it's. But I I don't think I have a friendship outside at work. Work is still work. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah, energy yeah, for it. Yeah. yeah. Because God forbid anything gets techy. We don't. There's no point for it. But with the flirting thing, do you believe someone can have like a flirty personality? It can just be naturally flirty. It's bullshit. It's absolutely bullshit. It's absolutely, my language is absolutely BS. There's no... What, okay, what is a flirty personality? A flirty personality? Like, what the, way some, the hell does that mean? <laughs> no way. What the hell does that mean? Someone who just quote no, unquote, naturally because you flirt, don't just flirt, flirt. You don't flirt with your auntie. You don't flirt with your uncle. You don't flirt with man. So what 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 the hell does that mean? So you can't have a flirty no, personality. No, you can't. I feel like if that's the case, you turn it on around females. Yeah. Yeah, now that you've said it like that, yeah, it's true. Because you're not flirting with everyone. You're, you're not, not flirting with everyone. You don't flirt with your mother. You don't flirt with your father. Yeah. What, what, what do you mean? You, there's no such thing. I feel like it's either that or you just... When you get around a certain group, females, males, you're just like, yeah, it's time. It's just a different energy. But if you're in a family gathering, I'm not Yeah, but flirting. you can say that with everyone's point of You could be a very active person outside of your family when you're yeah, in your family you're calm with, with active it's different because you know yeah but it's different personality so, no, so with me you could be the loudest of loudest but when you're with your auntie or stuff you could be very quiet yeah, but you've changed your personality di- I get where you're coming from don't get me wrong but so you could be flirty of, outside of his family when this is what I'm saying this is what I'm saying you don't flirt with everyone this is what I'm saying yeah, but you, you won't be no loud with everyone there's no such thing as a flirty personality to me <laughs> no I'm not accepting that BS no no you turn it on you turn it on I'm not but this one I'm saying, you, could you turn it on? You should know when to turn it on and when to turn that it on. One of them was where you're eating out and then it's just flirting with the waitress. Why? <laughs> Are we getting free food? Because you need to. Because this is what I'm saying. The kind of relationship we have. No, but like, can they say he's, he's, he claims to be a flirty person? No. Person and then you're there out. has to be a boundary. You can't. Because imagine you, I'm going out with you every day mentally. I have to know that you're, the girl you see you're going to be flirting with. That is. No, I don't have time. I'm secure in myself, but still, it's not It's not um comfortable to watch. Yeah, it's, it's a not, bit. It's yeah. Not, it's just. It's a Especially bit this is someone you're going out with. You're, I'm out here sitting on the table with you, but you're really out here flirting with you. In front of me, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's nice. not. Yeah. Regardless of how secure you are, it's not something you want to see. Okay, cool. Do it around your boys. You want to show your school the man? Cool. Go ahead. Do your thing. But. Bro, there's no such thing as flirty personality. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah, here for it. That one I'm not here I for. Agree. For what reason? People say that a lot. I'm just a flirty person. I, I'm not going to lie. You should be one of them people. No, I'm not. What? No, flirty person? person. I, I pick and choose who I want to be with. It's just friendly. What, what if you just claims it to be friendly? What if you just, I am just friendly? Define friendly. <laughs> Because sometimes, sometimes some people can look like they're flirting with someone, but they're not flirting. They're just friendly. It just it just depends how you pick up the situation. Like someone could be, I could be very nice to someone, but they could then deem it, they could deem it as me being flirt, flirting with them. But really and truly, I'm not. Um, no, the friendly thing. I feel like it's gonna come back down to tell me what's the difference between friendly friendly and being flirty. I feel like flirt. I don't know. It depends how you flirt, innit? I feel like flirty can come with touching to, and stuff. In your opinion, what would you say friendly is like being too friendly and being flirty? How would you define the difference? I don't know. See, here's the thing. I don't think there's a difference. Because, uh, <clears throat> okay, cool. This is If I say I'm being really friendly with a female friend, it means I probably go out my way that I wouldn't do on a normal day. But I don't yeah. see that being flirtatious. Which, being friendly, I can do that. To, what's the word I'm looking for? It's repair. It's, 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 oh. oh no, it's not coming out. That's gonna bug me so much. But yeah, I can. What do re- the same thing? Yeah, but repeat is not the word I was looking for. Yeah, but do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I can do the same thing with a guy, but mm-hmm. that's just me going out of my way. But then I'm not gonna be flirty with my female friends, even though as banter we do talk sometimes like where we compliment each other and stuff. But I can do that with the guy. But I feel like there's definitely being super friendly can lead to flirty, and I feel like they're along the same line, mm. especially. Okay, cool. It depends. If you're being really friendly with your same gender, if you're keeping it the same way you are with the female, then I get it. But you're not going to. There's always yeah, a difference. There's always a difference, yeah. So uh, to, that, to that, I'm just friendly. I don't agree with you. Because you can be just friendly and hi, hi, hi to everyone. 
There's no Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's that's when crazy it's to just me. female based or when it's just male based, like yeah. you're just doing it for yeah, the for the sex sex. then or your partner should we say then it's like okay, but if it's just a thing of your hi 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 with everyone then I you're see smiling. that's just your personality yeah. but then if I already see you already do it to your partner or the Certain person you're attracted people, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what it is there's no such thing as friendly I know what it is fair enough. I, I don't agree and that one me, me and that one don't we fair don't enough, fair enough, fair enough. what about, what about um, like two opposite sex best friends I'm not against it you're not against it no because I feel like so, for example, if I came into, let's say I came into um, your relationship and then I'm talking to your best friend, I'm not against it. I feel like that's been there. I'm only against it if I feel like something's happened in the past, if that makes sense. If you've had some kind of intimacy or you've, you've had some kind of history. But if you've always just genuinely been friends and they've not been nothing to my knowledge or thing, I don't feel like, um, yeah, do you in it? I'm just gonna have to trust you. Like, there's nothing against yeah, you. Yeah, you have to but, trust me. Yeah, but in the sense of, then again, it then comes to the fact of how I see, <laughs> how I see your friend, your Actually, best friend, acts around you. Yeah. Reason I say this is yeah. all over them, them hugs where they hug from side to side. So I say this. So I think I told you I was talking. I wasn't talking. Someone was trying to talk to me, but her. This is through a friend I know, but she calls him the guy best friend, didn't it? Yeah. So I was like, cool, whatever. I had never met the guy before. I literally just showed up to chill with her. Mm-hmm. It was nothing. It was cool people. Like, Jenny just cool by We We got along. And then we just made jokes. We were flirty, but yeah, it was pure yeah, banter. Yeah, yeah. It was pure. And then all of a sudden, a different character came up. She started From sitting her, on his, yeah. sitting on his leg. She started doing all of this. She started twerking. She was like, do you like what I see? I mean, it's just like... My thing is, if you like him, tell me. I'm not right. against, like, if you tell me, like, br- go for it, I'm not. I don't block blessings if he's meant to be with me in it, so go for it. But it's the fact that you put on a show while I'm there, but this is meant to be your boy best friend. Yeah. And I told him straight, I was like, if you ever had a girl that's serious, well, this and she does that, I'm, I'm thinking there's more to it. Right, right. It's I'm be definitely tight. thinking that you can't tell me this is your female best friend that she's yeah, doing no, all no, this. Yeah, no female best friend can't just, like, sit in your lap, bro, relax. Relax, relax. Make it make sense. And the, the way same way I would have be sitting on my male best friends, quote unquote. I would do. If I'm in at most, you probably get a head on your shoulder. At most. And that's when you're not there. When you're there, I would, I would come to lean my head on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> There's no point of going to lean yeah. a head on my male best friend's shoulder when my man is there. Yeah, that's yeah. But that's what I'm saying. At most, that. But even then, it's just like, I feel like when you're with them, there should be a certain way. Not even... Act, you act the same, but you still know there's boundaries, especially if their partner is there. You can't then go um start moving all sexual and you just change. If I'm sitting, so if my partner's sitting and that was his best friend, we're yeah, going to have a talk. Right. And you're going to have to tell her what it is as well, because right. I'm not going to be the one to tell her. Because my problem no, is with I'm, you. No, I'm not. I, if, if I'm in a situation where I'm sitting there with my man and his best friend, his female best friend comes in, and is doing all that extra stuff and sits in her lap. I'm gonna ask her, do you think this is okay, big man? <laughs> big man, do you think we're yeah, doing right now? No, no, I have to, I have to ask her because I'm gonna speak to him regardless yeah, of the situation. Gonna, that's what he has your allowed. Kind of personality to mine is different. He, though. he has allowed it. He has allowed this to happen in front of me. He has yeah. allowed this to happen. Yeah. Period. Yeah. If he this hasn't happened, put boundaries then, and right. then you start thinking this happened in front of me. What Lord knows how behind this is what I'm getting at. Lord knows because if if she has the bravery to sit on this guy's lap while I'm sitting here. Lord knows, only my God knows what she's doing behind, <laughs> behind this yeah. closed doors. And or I don't even want to think to, about yeah. or what, she, or what, she, what she's, she's trying, trying because yeah. I'm hoping that like, he's not letting yeah, me. But yeah, the fact yeah, that he's yeah. let her sit on her lap, yeah. I know God knows what he's letting her do. You know, from the minute you start coming, she'll be no, doing but, all this. But, um, but I'll ask her. Sis, sis, my good sis. I'm sitting right here. You, I'm not no, lying. No, I'm asking, do you think what you're doing right now is right? Do you think, let's say, if your man was here, and I was his best friend, and I started like sitting on his lap. Would you Would you be okay with that? Mm. Ask, ask, answer me that question. 
like, or if yeah. your man was here and your man saw you sitting on and top of a cat's like, best yeah. friend, do you think he's going to be okay with that? Yeah. Come on, sis. I and understand you might have good friends. I understand you probably be friends from God knows how long. But, but let's go. There's boundaries now. Yeah. There's and especially, now. okay, cool. I'm, I'm here now. That's what I'm about to say. I'm here now. That's what I'm about to say. Yeah. Especially like. And, I, and I'm not about to fight over a man, but I, I, I will hold it down. You, and yeah. I'll smack you up. <laughs> So that's not. You see, this one I'm saying, your personality is different. Like, I don't do confrontation. I will feel some type of way about it. I, my whole facial expression will tell you, like, Ooh, yo. I'll, I'll just, like, I'll genuinely just ask on a calm thing. No, I don't even. <laughs> What's going through your head right now? Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Do you think, let's, why, let's, why let's, let's just have sit Do you think what you did is right? And you're just talk. looking at her like this and you're looking at him. Is this, is this past trauma that's making you do this? <laughs> Should we get you in therapy? Because this is not right. This is not what uh, normal people do. This is not what people with sense do. Honestly, honestly, let's be honest. Do you think? Do you think <laughs> another woman can come and sit on my dad's lap? And, and and but think about your parents. Does your dad have a female best friend? What is that? Does your mom have a female best what friend? What is that? So why is it now all of a sudden? Do you know what I mean? Just think what about is, it. Yeah, but you can't my really compare. Has, no, no, my grandma has no female best friend. My nan has no female best friend. No, but you can't friend. really compare. My mom yeah. has no male best friend. My dad. Could, do you think anyone could come? At, my mom, Jack, is she? Do you think anyone can come here and act all friendly with my with my dad? No, but my dad? this I'm saying you. I get that, but with our generation, we quote unquote try and make it normal. We're forcing it. We're forcing situations. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against you having, I feel like, in terms of like... Good friends, yeah. yeah. In terms, but so if I have a guy best friend, idea, yeah. yeah. Come like, on, bro. I'm not no, sure if I have a guy best friend, I feel like I'll still put like, there's so much I'll probably do with you before I go into a serious, serious relationship. But the minute I get into a serious I know like, even though we're still good friends, there's still like, that, there's still, there's still going to be a line drawn on that. It might not be done on purpose, but it's just naturally, because my partner is going to replace you, because he's going to be my best friend now. Not yeah, you, no, do, no, do you know what I'm saying? Best yeah, like he's going to be my best friend. Think about, about your parents and your aunties. Yeah, but you can't really compare them. Why? Because Why? They're, but, we're all, but we're all growing, we're all the same thing. We act as if, okay, they're, they're a different generation, but we act as if that they haven't gone through what we've gone through. Okay, granted they didn't have social media, but you don't. They were teenagers at one point, they were young mm. people at one point. But they've come to the realisation, they've come to a certain age that this doesn't work. We are in a relationship, we don't need no best friends. Do you know what I mean? Like if you look, if you look at it, like I get where you're coming from. It's just your oh, best friend should be your partner. More, and more time, this best friend is what comes along and then causes a, something mm-hmm. between the next thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you're you're broken up and they end up marrying their best friend. <laughs> Bro, I feel like best friend comes with the, with the idea of them two don't want to date each other just now so they become best friends. Mm, I hope that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying in terms of like if I had one, what you'll do, my partner would then be it. There'll be a line drawn on the, it yeah. won't be done on purpose, but that's only because I'll happens, do it with him. I'm going, I'm going yeah. to speak to, to him. I won't come to you anymore no. like I used to be. That's what I'm saying. There'll be a line drawn on the I personally don't have any more best friends. No. Like, no, that I'll go to and speak about everything. Oh, no, I don't exactly. have that. I have, I would say I have, I have good no good friends, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't I have say good friends. friends but I don't say, have yeah. any best friends. I wouldn't I claim have anyone, to, any male to be my best friend because it's not like if something happens, I'm going to go straight to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have, friends, yeah, yeah, I have good friends. Yeah, where I have good friends where everything's calm and all that, but no I wouldn't call, call you. Yeah, anyone You're not my first direct line. Yeah, yeah. if anything. Yeah. But no, I hear what you mean. I'm, I, yeah, it's a bit techy stuff. Mm-hmm. I just, I feel like it depends on the person you're with. Because like, what happens then if your um, guy best friend says, this is my best friend, and you're like saying, okay, cool. I'm not telling you to cut off, but I feel like, Rather than you going to her first, you can come to me. What happens then? What do you mean? So let's say your guy still have his female best friend, whatever. Mm-hmm. You haven't told him to play him off, or whatever. But he still goes to her for everything, and you're just there. and you're the partner, by the way. And then he's saying that it's not that I wasn't going to tell you, but that's just my best friend. I'm used to going to her first. So I feel like I, d- I wouldn't want to say, oh yeah, come to me, because then just it feels like I'm forcing something. Not come to you, like because because it's like it's like if we never had a relationship where I don't know. Not Cause, come cause to because in, in that idea we never really built a relationship where we're going to each other about things. Yeah. We always we've always gone to someone, someone else, else about yeah. So for me to now come you. and say, oh yeah, come to me about it, it's like so that wasn't how it built. About it. If we didn't build that kind of relationship, but I feel like with your partner, you kind of not. I know but if, if in the early stages if I can see that he's not coming to me we're not having that type of friendship more time it probably won't even work yeah that's like, what I'm thinking I feel, I feel like a relationship starts as well as a friendship first, first yeah. that's a lot of people I feel like that's a lot, That's why they always say that you've already probably met your, your partner, partner because you're yeah. probably friends with him and I believe in becoming friends first 
mm. with someone because then you get to see them yeah. at their worst yeah. when you're friends yeah. with them. But it's hard now unless because people don't come to with you with friend intention. Yeah, no. Unless it's a film where going back to your friend now is the one that wants to do whatever you posted and mm-hmm. so let's go. Unless it's a situation, I'm going to use it as an example, but unless it's a situation where you you said no friendship but you've actually then gone and built a friendship and then you thought this maybe, yeah. yeah. Then things yeah, like that, but it's a harder. Lot, a lot of time, but I feel like that's the, that's the most natural way because I've had yeah. situations where I've built a friendship and realised this guy is probably a great person. Mm. But, can, but obviously, it's situations work, happen yeah. where it just hasn't worked out. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but yeah, these friends ting ting. <sighs> I feel like when it depends, you just like you say, you just have to communicate because when it depends, mm-hmm. like I'm not per se against you having if you want to have a female best friend, I'm not against it, even though whatever the situation is, I'm not against it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there's just certain things that you just I don't have to take that would naturally just change to where it becomes I become that and she's a good friend, if that makes sense. It's not a thing where I just I'm not telling you to cut off. It will just happen naturally without anyone even speaking mm-hmm. about it, per se. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. As long as this boundary is set. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Because sometimes you can have them horrible one, females that, oh, don't yeah, but I'm not, I don't want you anyway, yeah, so why is she yeah. acting like that? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. sis, come on, bro. You know, you, if it's he lets not about, you... It's not, about, it's not about insecurity. Yeah, and the thing if is... Lets and you, the thing is, before I, before I come to you, I'm going to see what my man's doing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If he's enabling the shit that you're doing... Yeah. The problem is, it's not going to be with you. Your, I'll yeah. probably tell you if for future, black like, sis, what you're doing is absolutely disgusting. Mm. Watch yourself. But I'm going to have my main problem is going to be mm. with my man. Because yeah. he's enabling what you're doing. Because he's not, I'm not Exactly, he's enabling what you're doing. You, I still tell you about yourself because what you're doing is absolutely horrible. Don't worry, <laughs> sis. I, just because I don't have a problem with you, I still tell you about yourself so you know for future mm. reference. Mm-hmm. And if it's a thing, I'll take you outside and take everything outside. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, but that's regardless of it. And I'll come to him and be like, what you're doing like make how you make sense this shit? yeah, yeah how you living this shit because if it was in, if it was reverse listen bro i'm petty i can be petty if this is how you want to play i would do the exact same thing let's go to and then you, see how you, yeah. and you see how you feel yeah and you see how you feel because they say don't do things you don't like people exactly to do to you, to you. So, yeah. exactly yeah. but the only reason why i say i'm not against it because um in terms of like i feel like sometimes they're not all right in the head they need a female perspective so you might not want to get that from me because let's say the situation is with me you want to go talk to your other friends, then yeah, I get I'd it. I'd prefer, if a situation happens to me, I'd prefer you just to come communicate with me. Yeah, but... Because what's, what, your friend does not know me. It does, it, they, don't, they might tell you what, what they think is the right thing. Mm-hmm. But, but this is what I'm saying, depends maybe on the kind have of person. that as just have an idea in your head, then you come to me and ask me, the line, communicate you, with me. You know, the best that, thing, if the situation happens, the best thing to do is go to the person. person. But yeah, so going out to someone else ways. and talking about someone else and asking this is someone else, it's like yeah. what the what the relationship's not between you and them. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The only person, the only person that can tell you what's wrong and can tell person, you what they want is the yeah. person that you have a problem with. Yeah, but here's the thing. This is why I'm this this random, but this off topic. But this is why I'm not against. You know, how a few people have are against like their partner being friends with their friends. Let's mm-hmm. say my partner be, I'm not against it. Be friends with her because I know whatever crap you come from her, it's come back to me. Even though it might be a thing, don't say it. This I don't. I'm not against them. Like I'm not against them. Like um having friends because I don't know. There's something about yeah, cool, come to me. But there's something I feel like sometimes they find it hard to communicate. It's just they have to. I feel like they have to get a perspective first before they. Yeah, they I, don't, don't I, don't mind, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind you going to someone and then. You know, yeah, after you've got I mean. that come yeah. back and be yeah, like, yeah. I'm to resolve it. Not, in I'm a way. D- I don't mean like them go just and then go, not come back and yeah, tell you. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that makes no sense because we're not resolving anything. But I mean, yeah. like, in terms of like, just get a female's perspective. You know, sometimes the boys yeah. be moving mad that the boys probably take the piss out of them. Yeah, so yeah, rather yeah. than go get yeah, boys' perspective. Yeah. But, but in my opinion, I would say, I personally feel like I'll be. I'll be better off if you go to my friend due to the fact that oh, she knows yeah. me yeah. than you go to your female friend. And depending on what intention your female friend has exactly. against me. That's the thing. <laughs> this friend, you know what? What's your relationship with Carl for your time? <laughs> <laughs> no friendship for anyone. No friendship for anyone. You need, I'm, I don't I'm, have time to see that. You see, you see, the, you see, that, video, you see that video they made of different wigs? You need different friends? Different exactly. wigs, different I'm hairstyles. Pop, listen, nowadays I can be a different Milan for you, bro. Whatever you I need. Think, I, I, I can be Sarah, I can be Tiwa, I can be Lola, I can be Dorcas, and they're all different characters, different personalities, different personalities. Honestly, you might catch me some braids, you might catch me some straight hair, I even do some sh- a I even give you a bob, I'll give you locks if you want. What do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you want. Because at this point, I'm giving you the. I'm putting the feeling. What do you want? 
Please don't say it. Like, all Put the money in my account. I can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Long nose that I can't scratch my bum with me. <laughs> I'll give you whatever you want. Well, Listen, that's how it is. You just have to be very, very... I feel like, in terms of that, you kind of like... I would want to meet your friend. This so-called I'm better than you have. Yeah. The one you keep calling best friend. I want to meet her. I want to meet her. Not even just... I just want to meet her. I don't, I don't know with vibes. I don't know if she sees me. I know yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is messy. Yeah. Relax. So relax. Because yeah. I'll, cut, not, I'll cut bitch if because, I need to. Because if you need a new female best friend, my, my best friend's here. Come, come chat to her. She'll be your best friend. Come. She would... She was... You want to... I'm not even against you. Go have to eat with her. Feed her. Feed her. I know nothing's come, gonna happen. Come. Exactly. Come and chat to her. Why do you... you Oh, uh, but I want a female best friend so I can get a female's perspective. So I sometimes yeah, she's got chat, perspective for you. You want number? That's how I check. That's how I check. She is not a male, so you want a number. You want snap? Would you want? chat <laughs> to her? <laughs> you need friends? I don't hey. even know anymore, man. I feel yeah, like the relationship have just become so complicated in this day and age. This is what I'm saying. You have to find because you have even just the minute you're getting into it, you have people that saying they're two parents. You have this and that. So I'm saying get into it with you and the partner without the other output from it as well and then sort out what you would take and what you would accept. Same as him and find a middle ground. If this if it's wor- if it's working and like But this but this is the thing, this is why having that friendship first is vital because you oh, learn them. No, no, but you learn but as in but as in you shouldn't rush because friendship can be made whilst you're dating. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. You should, I see what you mean. You shouldn't need to rush, rush. into relationship. Like, I, I, I will, I will always scream out because I, I saw this one time and it literally said it takes up to like four years before you actually get to know, know someone properly. Yeah. And we, we, we've come to the point where sometimes we just rush things because I think it's the best. But getting to know them, getting to know them at the worst point, yeah, getting to know them aspect. and their friends and how they mm-hmm. are, you will know whether it's going to work out for you. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I, sometimes, yeah, people yeah. put up this phase but if but if this, the phase can really only happen for uh, for a few months mm-hmm. after a while it's going to be hard to die down yeah to you keep can't keep up, up yeah. to keep it up so if you if you take your time eventually those walls are going to break down, yeah. down and you're going to see them for who they truly are instead mm-hmm. of you getting situation get into the relationship getting married with someone you don't even know yeah. just to, just to yeah. find that you're waking up to someone mm-hmm. you don't even no. know who he is because he's, he's now got a bear come to be showing you the real side yeah. and sometimes it can be Shows dangerous because sometimes hiding, this yeah. person can, can yeah. be the nicest person in the relationship mm-hmm. could be the person who's beating you bro this is what I said. I've always said, if I'm going to be with you today, I should know I want to be with you in three, four years' time. Yeah. So what? why rush to put a title on it? Yeah, That's not going exactly, to last. Because exactly. at the end of the day, you're already, what are you doing this for a title? Because if we're going to date and we're saying we're only dating each other just to build a friendship because there's no rush into it, we should take out time. If it, and I say it all the time. If I'm going to be with you today, I know for a fact that you're probably someone I want to see and get married to. Mm-hmm. So why do we have to rush it and do it now? Yeah. If we're going to date, let's date. There's no... Yes, there's no but yeah. about it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We don't need to rush into that relationship title. Yeah. There's no because if we're being realistic, we're dating and we're doing things in a relationship, but just not with a title. Yeah, but then obviously they have, then you have, then you have to tell me if there's any boundaries you want because if yeah. I if we're just dating, that means I don't owe you anything. You don't yeah. owe me anything. Yeah, but then I feel like so as when you, he has that when title, you start, we know that. Yeah, yeah. but when you start when you start dating, like after a while, like three six months time, he's like, okay, cool. I'm not speaking to no one. Yeah, like I want it to be a. And I think, and I think we should really normalize the idea of asking yeah. where we are at this at, at this point. Like is like if we've been dating for a while and yeah. it's going good. Like after the three, not, the six months, yeah, let's see. Like, are we still continuing what we're doing? doing? And where it's is, just us yeah, two now. Is it, is it working now, or are we just is something? Do you I, know what I mean because it's like I feel like it would just naturally kind of just happen. No, but I don't like that natural happen because then. It's, it's assumptions yeah, that yeah, one, one of us is making. Because yeah. I can feel that naturally yeah. we've come to a point where we could just, just to. be exclusive, but then your nat- your natural mm-hmm. way of this is thinking now we're still we're still doing our thing. So yeah, now I'm here chatting. Yeah, I get what you mean. Oh yeah, in my head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's if we both communicated and we both said yeah, this is how it is, then we can both have peace of mind. Yeah, to you know, know what it is. It is do you know what I mean? Mm. So there's no one making assumptions. There's no one doing something that's not, not going to do something. Jumping into confusion. Exactly. So saying something is key. Yeah. That's why I'm not against that that question of what are we. Mm. Like, obviously, sometimes... It Even might, if you tell me what I don't want to hear, at least I know. I, at least I know. Because I'm not in my at own head. I know, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, in, not my own, in my own bubble. Yeah, I'm not in my own head. I'm not fighting myself like... 
and then when you, when you do something, I'm going to feel some type of way. When you're yeah. thinking, why are you feel some type of way? We're when not. You, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to look like I'm dickhead, and it's going to feel like. You didn't, that's a you problem. It's now. tough. Yeah, that's it's a tough. you problem. That's so, a you problem. I mean, it's. it's yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel. Bro, if you, no, you're right. If you ask what are we, if I don't like the answer, I'll deal with you and we move because yeah. sometimes like, you're not going to get the answer you want. Yeah, you're not going to. So now you decide if you still want to be in the situation to get what you need, or you want to remove yourself out of the situation. Yeah, and it's that's tough. yeah, and you can do. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. It's tough. If you don't like it, you move. If you like it, you move again. Yeah. But yeah, that's simple. But we just like to complicate. It. <laughs> No, we do. Not really. No, we do. No, no, we do. We everything. We just we complicate everything. See, personally, I don't go. If you ask me to go out to eat or whatever, I don't go into the situation thinking you only ask me. I go into the situation and I mean, no, you got twenty that's, people. That's the thing with me as well. I I I've gone. I've had that idea of like I've brought up this idea of I don't expect anything from some anything from someone. Mm-hmm. So I'm not expecting you to do this i'm not expecting me to be the only person you're talking to i'm not expecting you to be the most romantic person i'm not expecting you to treat me i mean because Mm -hmm. once i start expecting things then i'm getting let down i'm getting let down so i'll be very naive especially in this day and age to think i'm the only person you're talking to yeah but people and then then, and if i am the only person you're talking to i'm going to feel very good after i find out yeah but i'm not expecting that to be the case because more time because I'm not, you're not the only person I'm talking to. Do you know what I mean? And even if you are at the moment, I won't tell you. I'm not against, no, but even that is, I'm, I won't stop someone from talking to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm not blocking myself. In that myself. moment in time, you yeah. could be the only person I'm really talking talk to, to like that as I'm dating. Yeah. But if someone was to come along and try and date you're, me, you're I am not mind. stopping yeah, them because yeah. I don't owe you anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't owe you're me You're still anything. open to it. Because cause, cause I know I'm doing it. I'm not going to expect you to not do it as well. Let's be honest. I'm, I'm actually at the end of dating, 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 dating. I'm not going to be out here expecting <laughs> someone else to not be dating. How can I advocate for it and then expect someone else to be dating? You're, you're advocating you know for stuff mean? you're not even doing. Do can you, you imagine? <laughs> nah, but yeah, I hear you in that one. Yeah, that's how it is. But I, I like to keep it simple. It makes life easy. Mm. It makes life easy for the, for the both of us. What have you seen in terms of Christ this week that stood up to you? You see, you see, you see me and God, yeah? <laughs> Go on. I spoke to him the other day, yeah? Yeah. I've been lacking a little bit with, with my with my reading and stuff. I can't even lie to you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's funny I, you said that. I'll get to that in a second. I, I've spoken to him. We, he knows my heart. He knows my plan. I always say, I always say, he knows this is going to happen anyway. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure he has, a, has he's going to put me back in the right place, direction. Yeah. yeah. So... In terms of Christ, it's a bit tough. I can't tell you exactly, in it. Um, I've prayed on it. Oh, no, I'll continue. But I do have, I do have a scripture. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't tell you exactly, but I've just taken a picture of when I was reading it. Um, Psalm sixty, Psalm fifty nine, verse sixteen to seventeen. It says, "But I will sing of your strength in the morning. I will sing of your love." <laughs> For you are my fortress, my refuge in top in times of trouble. Mm-hmm. You are my strength. I sing praise to you, God. Are my, I sing praise to you. You, God, are my fortress, my God, on whom I can rely. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, regardless of how I'm feeling some days and whether I've become a little bit distant, I will never not have. Um, if the time ever calls, I will never not sing the praise of my God. I've never, I'll never not testify how great, how great God has been to me. Um. I will never not speak praises of him. Mm-hmm. So I know, obviously, life happens and distance a cure, but I know I've come to the point where I can see what's happening and I can revert myself back yeah, into the situation. Yeah, you can draw yourself back to the situation. Exactly, and I'll never not pr- um, sing praises of him and rejoice him. So, yeah, but I've had I've had my conversations. He knows my heart. Mm-hmm. We're still so cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'll never not, not have my times, but, yeah, that's me. No, nah, it's funny you actually said that because... Um, it's just been a tough few weeks. Yeah, I mean, I've been, the, my earthly, my earthly things have really yeah, got me busy. Yeah. It shouldn't be the case, but no, but it's just been. A, you can't help but fall into that. Yeah, it's situation. been a tough few weeks, and I don't know why. I'm just feel like there'll be days where like I'm just like, okay, cool, you got this. Just read the bloody yeah, prayer. Read, read, just, read it. But then I read the prayer, and then I forget to do the verse I'm just thinking yeah. oh no and like it's been like two three days in a row so this morning I woke up I just made sure I did it like let me yeah, just yeah I've, I've got yeah. some days to catch up and then I was just like okay cool but then I was just it's just been 
I just got to myself, I was like, I'm actually tired. Just not in terms in terms of like not even in reading but in reading at the same time in terms of yeah. everything I'm just and, and tired. it's one of those you're telling yourself I don't want to read tired because I'm not going to be able yeah. to understand it properly I need to read it when I'm awake I'm just when tired. you're awake you're doing yeah. all going on but and then I'm just tired so I'm just like and then funny enough I was speaking to someone from work here and she was just saying like how she wants to go back into like Christ because she was saying like she was born into it but she hasn't mm-hmm. found her own direction into it and then we just end yeah. up speaking about it and I was like funny you said that I was like the same with me, it was a routine. It wasn't even a thing where yeah. it was something I was That's born into it. Yeah. And I was, I was like, it's only well, now that I'm way. finding my own way. And I'm, I'm, I was like, to her, I'm still learning. I can't tell you I'm the best. I was like, everyone's still learning. And mm-hmm. I was like, you can't go read the whole Bible because you get lost. Like, pick and choose mm-hmm. your fear. Start from the little things. I said, even though, I was like, at the moment, I'm still fighting my distance. We're still going back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> We're still doing. But I was like, I try to either like, even if I don't go into church, I just try to watch something or just do something along yeah. that line that I know I'm at ease. Even just pray yeah. to worship. Yeah, I'm at ease. And I was just like, no, nah, like, for the past few, it's just been tough. And it's just like, I want to come talk to you, but it's like, <laughs> I kind of want some answers. And lately, I feel like you've put a distance in our relationship. <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> I can't even read you. <laughs> nah, exactly. That's what I thought. Uh, and then, like, when we're talking, and then we just started talking, we're just getting into it. And I was like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was like, this past week, so just like, I kind of want to talk about it, but then I kind of don't. It's just, I'm tired. I'm just, I'm genuinely just tired. I can't tell you. If you ask me, I'm all right. My answer is, I'm tired. I'm, I can't tell you yes, I can't tell you no, because it's not like, I'm just tired of everything in general. And I, I don't know what it is or why. Yeah. And it's just like, a lot is going on, and I still can't put two and two together. And I was just struggling, and we just sat there. We just, <laughs> we've been talking, we didn't even know it's been an hour, and just talking, I'm going back and forth, and I was like, I'm still finding my own way, and like, I feel like my parents have come to realise that it's not, they can't just wake up and be like, we're all going to church. It don't yeah, work like that. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. if I'm not going, I'm not going. Not even, not to say that I don't want to go, but it's a thing where now I have my, I feel like it's the fact that now I have my own decision, it's like, I need to make it right and make, I need to, my thing was, this week was trying to have that balance of not swaying away. It's hard. Mm. It's really hard. And I was just looking at us like, no, this is hard. This is actually really hard. And it's, mm. But, Listen, yeah. <laughs> in due time, glory. In due time, my. <laughs> he, he, I need, he knew it would just happen anyway. So and I, I need my faith. I feel like what it is with me. I need my faith to be sh- a lot stronger. And it's like I'm trying to build it, but it's like I'm building it in a certain way, but it's not building how I want it to build. And it's like mm-hmm. I don't know what's missing either. Yeah. That kind of thing. But um, I then found a prayer, and it said, "Dear God, help me to be patient and kind. Search my heart." Lord, and help me see my pride. See any, help me see any pride I may be holding on to. Please give me the strength and grace to prioritize others' needs over my own. Thank you for being patient and kind with me. In Jesus' name. Amen. And that was it. And my main, the main thing I've read that stood out to me was thank you for being patient and kind with yeah. me. Because without that, God, yeah. only God knows. Only God but nice, but it's actually been really hard. <laughs> I just yeah. sat in my room. I just sat in the car. I think when was it? On Friday, after school, I was in my car. I got home at like say nine thirty. I was in my car till like one a.m. before I realized. I was like, no. <laughs> I said, no. Nah, what is this? I was just like, no. Nah, I feels. I just felt very overwhelmed by everything, and mm. I couldn't say this is what I'm it sure is. That. I'm sure that. But yeah, we're here. We're going. <laughs> Still going strong, but going to <laughs> Listen, yeah. We brought him. I wouldn't be here today. Mm. But. But that note, yeah. the riddle for this week was, or is, the yes, riddle for this yes, week yes. is, <laughs> the riddle for this week is, I'm always hard when dry and smoothing, smoothing stuff when wet. Whoa. What? Is that not what you said? Should have what you said. No, do you, <laughs> I'm reading it, but rather than say wet, I wrote went. Oh. That's how I was thinking warm. But yeah. Riddle for this week is I'm always hard when dry and smooth and soft when wet. What am I? Yes, guys, you already know what to do. Message us what you think the answer is. Um if you haven't heard this is episode like ten. Nine, I think. I think. And I think it's ten. I don't think it's ten. I think it is ten. Nine. I think this is episode ten. Oh, it is episode yeah. 10. We're so, in double digits. If this is your first time listening to the episode, 
go on our page at the center podcast on instagram um click the link in the bio and give you the um links oh, to all the listening platforms yes, yes, yes. and just just go listen to episode one two start you know what i mean start off start start where you want to start off um each episode brings you something different, different. Yeah. we've actually um, grown with each episode Mm-hmm. Not, I said we've grown with each episode. Yeah, Because yeah. what we say today might change tomorrow, so exactly. don't hold us for yeah, every word. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, you know, listen, like, share, give us feedback. We have we also have a YouTube page. We've got a video out with um a Zoom call with one of our other special guests. Um, check that out. Watch that. Leave us um some feedback and share that. For us. Subscribe coming. to the YouTube page as well. Um, we might see some some new things out there on in in the future. Yes. But we're 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 growing. We're going. Um, and we just need some love and support from you guys as always. We appreciate what you guys are doing, but obviously you know, keep at it. So, it's been your host with the most, me and Sophia, and yours T O R. Love and guidance. We are.